Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Boulder Canyon. We have got our cattle pen here, and we've got a pig pen all the way over there. Now the cattle pen is right into the side of the hill right here. And then the pig pen has not really had quite so much uh, ground deformation over here. There's a little bit over on this side, but nowhere near as much as the cattle pen. So what we need to do is we need to plan out where things are going to be so that we can access the different parts of the pens and so on. Uh, slurry right here, we'd want to access this. Now, as I'm not going to be staying beyond just getting some cattle on here, we're not going to be worrying in this series about being able to actually access the manure and the slurry from both lots of these animals. Now, if we were staying longer, if we had different long-term goals, then the manure and the slurry would be quite important aspects of it. Uh, because we'd start using those. And maybe we could say in the future that uh, we're not allowed to use any fertilizer at all. Um, and might it might be that that's what we do in our next series. Rather than saying no animals, we might say it's got to be organic. We cannot buy any fertilizer at all. We can only apply manure and um, slurry. So we could put a bit of manure onto the field and then cultivate it all in and then do some planting, and then spread liquid slurry over the field after that. And that's what we're allowed to use, and we're not allowed to use anything else. For weeding, we can use the mechanical weeder, and then that's it for that. Uh, lime? I don't know. I don't know if lime is a... Um organic thing or not. But anyway, that, that doesn't really matter. What we want to do today is we want to go into here. We want to do some landscape. Landscaping is our first big task that we need to do. We need to be able to get in around all of this. Now, at the moment, that should be relatively straightforward. We can come up around this side. We'll deal with the front in a minute. I'm not going to do anything to the front just yet. What I'd like to do is I'd like to just make this over here a little bit wider than it is right now. So we're going to press both mouse buttons together and that keeps it level on here. But what it also does is it pushes back like that. And I want to make this a little bit wider than it is right now. So if I switch that one to the different shape like that and I bring that one out there like that that's what i'm thinking we go out that far like that that's a good wide area oh, oops that's why we do this carefully and slowly okay that that one little bit back there i don't think is going to hurt too much and i'm gonna keep doing this i'm just gonna work this back like this we've got a quite a wide area just here and then I will use the um, the smoothing option, and I will smooth this back down again after I'm finished doing this. So we want to bring that back like that. And now up here, I'm thinking we don't want to go quite as far. We will go in a bit like that, but I've also got to be very aware of where the trees are on the edge because I don't like I don't want to go too far in to where those trees are so if I bring you around here like this see it's already sort of sloped out a bit I'm thinking actually I wonder if I could go in one more step like that that's gonna be okay we, we can do it like that there's there's one more little bit in there I can go in like this and just push that in a little bit like that and that is absolutely fine. And that is in the same distance all the way round. So we will do that. It's going to cost us a little bit of money. It's not actually costing us that much money to do it. And that's pushing up to near the trees, but it's not actually interfering with the trees too much. And bring you back like that. All the grass is disappearing from here. That's fine because I'm not planning to keep grass there anyway. That's going to be changed around. And I'll bring that over to there. Now, out this side, how much are we going to do on this? I'm going to I'm going to keep going like that. I'm going to bring that all the way over to here. It's going out a little bit further like that. 
We need to take our time. There's one thing that I've noticed with this landscaping thing is if you try to rush it, you will it'll end up looking horrible, right? You you will end up just having a mess. If you if you try to rush things with this, it does end up coming out as a bit of a mess. If you tr if you don't try to rush it, if you take your time with it, you can end up with some really, really good results all the way through. So we've got that at the moment. I've got a little bit that went there in a bit too far. Um, and I'm wondering if I can, like, turn that into something a little bit more natural looking. I'm thinking probably not at the moment, so I'm not going to worry about it. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to bring something down here. So I'm just going to come out of that a second, and I'm going to run down over here, and we're going to move that tractor out of the way. Because what I would like is not just a track that runs along the front of the house here, which we will do. We'll extend this out. We'll build up the bank back out to here somewhere. But then I also want a track that goes from this corner, and that comes down there. And that's going to be the other bit that we use. So we'll move this tractor right out of the way so it's not going to interfere with what we want to do over here. And I'll put you over there for a minute. Stop you there like that. And I'll conduct this symphony orchestra from over here, I think. So we'll go back into our landscaping. And we'll bring it out this side here. So now what we're doing is we are raising up the level of the land around us. And again, we just need to do this slowly and carefully. And I'm bringing that one out to there, I think. I will do it so that we can see where we're going with this. And go out there. I'm going to go out one further than that. I'm going to go out to here. And that's going to come right out to this corner. We'll start off with a level platform. And then after we've made our level platform, then we can change things around a little bit. So I'm just going nice and slow. I'm not rushing anything. I'm, I can go a little bit faster over there. But then here, where I want the edge of it, just slowly does it. Gently does it. You don't need to rush this. Right? It is absolutely worth taking your time and getting it right. Now bring that back over there. So I've got a nice level platform all the way through. And I will bring that over to there, like that. And that's still the same level platform that we've got there. I'll bring that back over. No, it, it does step up right there. Now, that is absolutely fine. I'm not going to change that anymore. We've got this bit over here. This is kind of stepping up as well. But this has now got to be changed. That's got to be changed out a little bit as well. It doesn't appear to be anything else that I want around the cattle pen at the moment. We'll deal with that side in a minute because we want to mark out what we want around the pigs and stuff like that. So we won't worry about that for a minute. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to switch this one over to the circle again. And we're going to start doing the leveling bit over here. I'm not going to do all of it. I'm actually going to push that out over here. That's coming out on the corner a little bit. And then I want to come down to here. I want to bring in all of this. So we're going to smooth that now. Over like that. And that's going to smooth down here into the rest of the yard. This is where we want to bring this. Because I don't want to be having the traffic too close to the caravan there. That's going to end up sort of spoiling things a bit if we have it going too close to that caravan. And we, we don't want that sort of appearance to it. So I'm going to bring that all the way out over here. I'm, I'm doing this quite wide, and I am doing that quite deliberately. I'm also smoothing this background so that we've got plenty of room to turn on this corner. Here, we want a nice wide area. We're using big machinery. Well, big-ish. We've got trailers and stuff running in and out of here. And we also need to be able to access the door there with, well... We won't actually physically do it, but you've got to remember that you are going to need cattle trucks being able to access an area in there. So we want to keep that in mind as well. And I would say that would probably be enough. I'm not going to smooth this bit off. I'm going to leave that as it is. And then we're going to come over here. And I am just going to do that. I'm going to smooth this bit off on here. See, we're just... just Doing a little bit of smoothing work on that. And that's making it into more of a bank rather than like a, a steep wall. I was considering going and building a wall in there, but I don't think we're going to do that. I'm just going to smooth that off down through there. So it's it's steep, 
but it's not spoiling the effect that I'm after. There, that's that's better. We'll bring that in here, and the corner is going to sort of come up a little bit like that. And I'll come in here. I don't want to do too much more right there because it's going to undermine those trees. Actually, I can do it a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to undermine the trees too much. That's all. I'm just a bit wary about undermining those trees too much. I don't want to sort of expose roots there. That's what we want to avoid is exposing the roots on the trees. We want the trees to live. And then we can bring that down through here. That's that's looking a lot. There we go. That is looking a lot better down through here. Look at this. That's much better. And all the way down there. Like that. And then we're sort of smoothing that out right the way down through there. We'll come back to that. I'm not going to do it just for a minute. I now want to press X and change over. We want a different ground type. We've got the soil type here. This is we're a bit limited on what we can use on this map for options. We've, we've got this soil type that we can use here. We've got that grass. We've got that grass there, which we're already using. We've got gravel, kind of like that. Uh, bare rock, mud. And then there's a dark mud like that. But that, again, it sort of looks more like mud than anything else. I can put down a patch of concrete... Which I'm going to put some... Actually, I'm going to put some concrete. That's the concrete that I want to use. I'm going to put a little bit of that concrete in. So we will switch over to this one. And we will make that a bit smaller. I can go right down to really small. I think we will, actually. We'll go down to really small in here. Now, that's a different type of concrete in there. Maybe I should use that same one. That's a rougher concrete. That concrete there is... Not that concrete. That's gravel. Bare stone, mud. It's that concrete. That's what they've got in there. Okay, we'll use the same concrete that we've got in the pen. So I will bring this over like this. And I'll put that in there and put it underneath the barn as well. We'll bring that out. You can't see right in under, but if I just remove... If I do it like that there, we, we can sort of... We get the idea. I'll bring you out over here. See, it goes right into the doorway there, so I'm going to do the same. I'm going to bring it right out over to here, and we're going to concrete this down a little bit. We're not going to go all the way, but where, we'll, where we're going to be feeding, I think that would be a good idea to have a bit of concrete down here. So we'll also bring it back down this way, like that. And we'll have a bit of hard standing in the field as well. So the hard standing for in the field, that can extend into the field a little bit. Well, not, not too much, but it's going to extend over here. So that they've got, when it rains, you will often find the cows will prefer to stand on the concrete rather than wallowing around in the mud. So if we provide them with a bit of concrete to stand on, that's going to keep them happy. So we'll bring this bit of concrete out here because this is where the milk tanker would also be coming up. So we're going to want to have concrete available on here so that the milk tanker has got a decent hard surface to travel over or back up onto. I think that would I think that's going to be beneficial for us. So we can bring that down to there. I won't go any further out than that cuz you got to remember that concrete is an expensive thing to actually go and lay down so we don't want to be putting too much concrete i'm going to go out one i'm going to go out a bit further than that though i'm going to put concrete out as far as there so i'm going to make that one bigger like that there we go right that's better we've got concrete coming out this side and then once i've gone through and done the concrete then we will put down a bit of uh, the rest of it will be a dirt surface I'll put that over to there, and I'm also going to want concrete coming out over here, but not all the way through the entire structure. That's going to come out as far as there. That's as much as we're going to go with it, so that we've got access to the door for any heavy vehicles that come up. They'll be able to easily get to the door in here to be able to pick up and drop off any animals that we might be buying or selling. So we put that into there. Oh, wait a minute. We also, we're putting in a water tank over here. So if I put a little bit of concrete there like that, 
There's a hard pad for the water tank to sit on. I think the water tank comes out over here, so I will... I will do that there. We've got a hard pad for that. I'm not putting any over there, although I suppose really you would, because that's where the cows are getting their water from. No, I, I won't do any more than that. I won't do any more than that. We're, we're not going to go nuts with the concrete. We'll bring that over to there, and then I've got concrete down here. That's concreted down to here. As we've, you know, we've got the money for a little bit of concrete, so we can we can put some in. I bring that up to there like that. That bit's coming out. That's going to go over to there, and then I'm also going to put some over here like that. So this is going to... We're going to bring this right up to the edge of the caravan under here. It's actually going to go under that side of the caravan there. And that's the concrete pad. That's what that's that's as much as we're going to have with the concrete, I think. So then I will put that down to a smaller size. We will now tab through to the dirt one and this one here. I now need to put this over the edge like this. I'll worry about that bit in a minute. I'm going to put you up through here like this. So I need to just run along the edge of the concrete now. Putting in the new, the actual edge for the concrete. It's got to run all the way along here. Like I've got a bit of grass going in there. Actually, I'm thinking that might be better if that bit was concrete. So if I run along here with this one, like this, I ought to be able to do it like this. I, if you can keep it straight, you can do it like this. And it will work. Sort of. There. It's sort of working. There. Bring that back. That's, that's just marking. I, it, it doesn't actually matter about that bit further up. It's not going to make any difference. But I will just go through again and we will put down... I want that as concrete through to there, like that. And then I need to go back over and change that bit there so it comes up to the edge of it. And there. That's that's much better. There, I've got, I've got a nice sort of natural edge on it right there. And we can leave the rest of that. Then I just need to bring the dirt in on the rest of it. So this is going to go over to here. Pick that down as small as it will go. i, I got to bring it right in over there like that and also in this way. So there's the edge of our concrete pad. Right, that's that's looking pretty good. Now I can make that a bit bigger. And I can go round there and we just want to put that along the edge of the pen over here. Do the same along the edge of the pen in that direction. This here I want as a straight edge. That's going to stay as grass. Because you'll get a load of weeds growing in somewhere like that. That's, that goes without saying. That's, that's just going to be a thing. A big load of weeds in there. Now, I could also do concrete down in front of here. But I'm not going to with the pigs. Because I figure we probably wouldn't have so many. The main reason for the concrete here is that we're going to have daily or every other day milk collection coming through here. And so... As we've already put concrete down for the milk collection, that's why we've gone and put more concrete down for the rest of it. So the truck will come in here, we'll go up there and drive along the front, over to that point, and then back up onto there, and then he'll go out that way, and he'll head off. Well, well actually, no, he'll come out. He'll come down here, and he'll go straight out that way. That's the direction that he's going to go. So he can go across a dirt track there without any problem. But we wanted this to be a hard standing, so it didn't sort of get torn up by the... Um, heavy lorry coming in every single day. Now, if I switch this over now to a circle, we're simply going to put this all the way along here like this. And that's going to come out a little bit further over onto there like that. And I'm also 
thinking that there'll be the odd little bit in here as well but this is more like this right we, we've got there's patches of it but that's just kind of where we were doing the building work and and nothing more this is nothing extra coming in onto that and then i can come up along here and this is the building work as well so we get most of this. There'll be the odd patch of grass like left behind on this. Uh, or the odd patch of grass that's growing through. Because we're not going to have a lot of traffic coming in around behind here. So it's going to end up looking more like this. This is going to be more patchy. Right? It, it won't take long for it to sort of grow like this. And start having patches of grass coming through on some of this. Which is why I'd like to have it like that. So then I want to go... And put a few random spots of grass in like this. And a couple of random spots of grass in here. Like that. And then over the bank, definitely we want to be having random spots of grass up on here. Like that. And then we've got like the odd bit of stone that's been exposed here as well. Because we've been digging back in. There's, there's, there's going to be like bits of stone that have been exposed as we were digging back into this bank. Like that. So that looks a little bit more natural. It's not quite as natural as I'd like it to be because we don't have like the, the mixed one, which is one of the options normally. But I think that's not looking too bad for a quick job. And then we want to switch back over to this one. I want to make that a bit bigger like that. And I just want to blend this down now. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make this, I'm going to make the brush more powerful now. We're going to go, we're going to take this, the brush up as powerful as it will go like that. That's where the food goes and that's where the straw goes on this one. No, actually the food goes on this side. Food goes there. And straw goes up on that corner. So we're going to be wanting to be able to put the straw in. So we're going to want to be blending that down like that. So that we're able to easily kind of come in around this corner. So just going to bring that down and smooth it quite a bit like that. And it's mostly along this front bit that we're going to want to be doing some smoothing work. I'm going to, I'm going to need to smooth this bit out here. So that we can get round the corner. We, we One thing that we're going to want to be doing here is we're going to be want to come round this corner to be able to put the straw into there. So we're going to want to be able to go right the way round this one. So I'm going to bring you out there. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to work some leveling stuff in there where the manure is going to go. This one's got to come over here. And the idea for this is that we come across there. Right, so that's going to come out that way, and then that's going to blend over here, and this is going to blend down here, and just kind of smooth out the front along this way. There. So we've, we've got a nice bit smoothed out there. Thinking maybe I should have moved that back a little bit. Possibly that tree is in. I don't think the tree is in the way. I'm just thinking possibly it might have been. Okay, so we'll come into here and then I want to squash that down a bit more than it is. And I want to smooth that out further so that I've got easy access into there. And then I want to come around over this side and I want to bring that out and push that up further over to here. And then I'll um, end up pushing it down again in a second. We'll we'll go back over and we'll do this again. There, like that. Now, I can blend this down. And I'm going to make that bigger still. There, this is, that's much better. We're blending it out here now. Like smooth, we're, we're doing this smoothing all the way out here. Away from that entrance way over there. So we've got our slope right there that is going to be able to come over and into this pen. It's still dropping it down a bit right there, so you can see the marker is actually going up into the air a little bit. But I think that's going to be all right. 
And if I go back over this way and have a look at it from back here, again, that's that's going to be fine. As long as I've smoothed off the edge of that mostly, I'm quite happy with that. And then bring this out over here. And this is where I want the smoothing bit done over here. I want to bring that right back over there like that. That's much better. Now I'll be able to get in and out of there. I know that we're not actually going to, but you still want to plan to be able to get in and out of where the manure is so that we can load. So we can bring the machine in round here, park it up there. We've got enough room to get there, and then we've got room to get in and out with the front loader on there. And we've got the same over here. We can bring a machine up to there, front loader out, back round, and tip into this side. So that's going to work out absolutely beautifully in there. We can smooth that back a little bit there, and... The only other bit that we've got left to do is a bit of smoothing over here. I don't need to do much here. And then, of course, we've got this bit out over here. This here, we've got to do a bit of work on. I bring that over there like that. And that needs to go like this there. So the concrete is sort of been smoothed down a little bit on that corner. It's not an entirely level pad over on this corner, but again, that is something that I feel is acceptable. I think that we would be all right with that. I do think that would be okay. We have It's a bit of a step down over there, but that's where the grass is. We know that that's going to be a step there. Now, if I bring that down smaller like this, we can then uh, switch over to ground type, and we will change to uh, this ground type change the shape I don't want a great big square like that she want to bring that why is that up like that okay I'm not entirely sure why it's now a huge great big wait a minute I've no idea why the block has suddenly <laughs> grown like that that's a little bit weird but I can live with it. That's that's absolutely fine. I'm going to take you over to that far, and then I'm going to bring you back there. Uh, that will go like that. So we're sort of eating onto the corner a little bit. I'll tell you what, actually, I'll switch that one over, and we will just take off the corner of the concrete there so that we've got the dirt track here. And then I can make that a bit bigger, and we can turn that into dirt track there. And that bit over to there. Right. Now we've got exactly what I want. We can come in with the milk tanker. It'll come up there. It'll come along here down to that point and then back up there. Or he'll come up here down this way and then reverse all the way back up there. It'll probably be the other option, to be honest. But, um, yeah, it, it, you, you get the idea. He's, he's able to come on in and he can do whatever he needs to do. And that will go back over there like that. This is just going to all be dirt over here. I'll leave a bit of grass there in front of that one. And then we've also got a track that comes along the side of the building over here. And the side of that building is going to be a bit grassed over. Around there is going to be some grass. And then that's going to go up there like that. And we'll come over to here. In around there like that. You will go all the way over there. That's going to go like that. So I'm going to do a base like this of dirt over this bit out here like that. There. Then we're going to shrink that down again, and we're going to tab in, and I'm going to put a few specks of grass in around on there like that. It's kind of what you'd expect going around the edges of the buildings, I would say. And then we want to switch over, and we want to do a little bit of grass in here like this. A uh, couple patches in there, a bit along there. Um, sort of like that, I reckon. That's looking fairly uneven. And we can put a little bit of rock in here. There'll be a bit of stone in there. I'm not going to do very much stone on this one. 
But I might just do the odd little bit of mud in the corners in here like this. And, and maybe like a, an odd mud patch here and there. Just... You know, we, we got a bit of mud that's coming out from the pen there as well, maybe. So, something like that, because that's the water pen right there. Uh, so it's, it wouldn't be odd for a bit of water to be sort of leaking around there, where the pigs have splashed a bit. And I'd say that was pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. I would say that was actually pretty good. I don't think we need to do any more than that. We'll do a test run now with our tractor. We will drive around the edge of this and just sort of see what it's like. Uh, because we we will be driving around this, but we're not going to be driving around it a lot. That's why we've got like bits of grass coming around there. This is where the majority of the traffic will be coming through. I, I, I like, I think this is actually, I think this is all right. I think this is actually quite acceptable. So there is another thing that we need to place down. Let's, let's go into here first and we will do a drive around. There's one other thing that we need to place down that we need to buy. And that is in here, we need to go to the global company and we need to get the cow feed mixer. That's 200,000. Completely forgot that that one costs $200,000. Uh, that's, yeah. That's an extra 200,000 on top of what I thought that we would already need. That's going to be a slight problem. I'm wondering if I should use the bottom part there, if I should put it close. I don't think I will. I think I will put it over the other side of the pigs in the space that we've got all the way over there. That would make more sense. Um, that, that sort of seems like the best place to put it. But we've, we've done this. We have now... I know I've just spent an entire episode doing this, so I do apologise for those of you who don't like the whole landscaping malarkey, but we've done it now. We have now done this. We've got our new pens all installed. We've got no sort of sharp edges, little rough spots here and there. Like there's, it, it makes sense that you have a bit of a rough spot in places. Like there's a big um, rock deposit there. So we've had to dig round that. So it would kind of make sense that it's a little bit rough going next to it. And we come in over here. It's a little bit rough right there that maybe... Actually, I'll tell you what. That bit there we could do something about. I will do something about that little spot that we've got right over there. It's behind the tractor over here. I'll come down in like that. I want to switch over to this. Make that a bit bigger like that. And it was a little bit right there. That was a little bit too rough. There, we'll finish that bit off. That's absolutely fine. Now, on the rest of this, this is okay. Comes in like that. It hasn't interfered with the rest of it too much. There's a few bits of slopes and so on. But generally speaking, this is exactly what I wanted. We've got plenty of room there in front of the animal pen. We've got plenty of room to get down through here as well. And we've got a decision to make now. Do I start off without that animal feeder or do I start off by buying in the... Um, right, do I start off by buying in as many cows as I can or do I start off by making the mixed feeder? If I just buy in the cows, I'm not going to worry about making mixed feed. All I'll do is I'll put in some bales of silage for them. We can put bales of straw in behind. We are able to go and do that because you can put whole bales of straw in. Um... At least I hope you can. If we can't, then we're in trouble. We're going to have to buy a um, straw blower. Uh, but yeah, so get into the comment section and let me know and I will act on that next week. Do I go and buy the mixed feeder that we've got right here? Is that one, the cow feed mixer. Do I go and buy that one straight away and put that one down over here somewhere? It will go... Somewhere like this, I would imagine, something like that, and we will do a platform and level area for it out over here in order to be able to use it. I don't think it's a good idea to put it in the yard over here. I mean, we could. I could put it down in the yard. So tell me where you think I should put this. I can put it here. I can put it up here somewhere, just like tucked into the side of the field. I don't want to put it up there. That's too high. So I could sort of put it here. We could dig back into the bank and we could put it there. I can put it in the yard over here somewhere. I would guess kind of... Actually, if I was going to put it in the yard, I would put it there. We'll move all those bales out of the way. 
that would be that's not a bad spot to put it actually it's conveniently located for you know central use on the yard we've got it we've got plenty of room all the way around it it's not going to interfere with anything else we've got room to load up the silent the total mix ration after it's done and we've got room to put everything in there i think there would be the best spot for it somewhere like that um or i could put it over here near the pigs that's that's the two options i think near the pigs or over here I mean, we could put it next to the workers' caravan, but I don't think that would be a good idea because we can't access around it very easily. Um, so, yeah, where do you think I should put this one? And, well, that's if you think I should put this one down to start with. Should I put this one down for 200000 and then start getting the money to get the cows? Or do I get the cows first and then save up another 200000 with selling wool, selling milk, that sort of thing, um, in order to be able to get the feed mixer in and then start giving the cows the total mixed ration? So get in the comments and let me know. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.